I, I, I did a, I did a, a production um, in, in London in the West End some 20 or more years ago of Carmen Jones. And uh, it, was a, it, was a, a, it is the most extraordinary show, and we had uh, a wonderful, wonderful cast. And we, uh, uh, we introduced some uh, extra dance elements into the piece, but of course the great big number is beat out that rhythm on a drum. And uh, I had a choreographer that I've often worked with, uh, an Eng Englishman, young Englishman, uh, who did a marvellous job, and uh, everybody liked it very much. But we all felt that somehow he hadn't uh, immersed himself enough in the dance culture out of which uh, the, the life depicted in Carmen Jones comes. Uh, the traditions, traditional uh, dance forms that you might find in New Orleans and so on. And uh, so we found a choreographer who was a very, very distinguished dancer called William Luther, who had danced with Martha Graham, uh, a, a very distinguished choreographer, had worked all over Europe and so on. And uh, William, it was pretty well the end of his career. Um, and he said, this is all wrong. What you're doing is, is not, there's nothing authentic about it at all. And he said, I'll show you. He, he was old and in some pain, I think. But he said, I will show you what I believe this dance should be. And uh, it, to me, was as, as uh, perfect an example of uh, eccentric dance as I'd ever seen. But it was a sort of a mating dance. And it was quite... Extraordinary. I, I won't attempt to demonstrate <laughs> that, but um, it went in, in no direction that you would ever have thought. And it, it, it was as if uh, he was dancing a, a flamingo uh, with sudden backdrops and weird little lingers forward and so on. It was, I, I'd never seen anything like it. And uh, I must say, uh, he convinced us all that it was the sexiest thing on <laughs> earth. And the dancers, uh, were, as they learned to uh, 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 agree to break all the rules that they'd ever moved according to, uh, were, were, uh, were, uh, uh, gave uh, uh, performances that surprised them and surprised all of us. And uh, it, it, it was a fabulous thing to be in touch with something as authentic as that, it was astounding. And so my last little uh, uh, comment about uh, eccentric dance, uh, as it, insofar as it concerns me, points up to, well, uh, there, there, there's of course Four Weddings and a Funeral, which is not so much eccentric as incompetent, I think. Um, <laughs> but um, it's not surprising that uh, Gareth died, it seems to me. <laughs> I've always thought of the film as a, a sort of government health warning against the perils of Scottish dancing. <laughs> But um, when I was much younger, I, I lived in Africa as a boy from 1959 to 1962. And um, when I came back to England, I, I was a bit late starting school. I was 12 or something, and school started at 11. And uh, there was a, a, a natural um, instinct to bully uh, the small, fat boy who'd arrived from abroad. Uh, and nobody knew. And uh, I don't know what it was in me that uh, had a, a sort of inspiration as they came towards me, <laughs> flexing their fists. I fell on the floor and started jiggling around. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, uh, they didn't know what to do. <laughs> Which part of me could you hit? And uh, I said, what's that? What is that? And I said, it's a jelly dance. <laughs> it's an African jelly dance. It's a well-known traditional dance in Africa. And uh, I'm its greatest living exponent. And <laughs> it's because of that jelly dance, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm here in front of you today. <laughs> so thank you very much.